Okay, so I think I finally got this thing to record at least what's going on up on the board. Okay. Do you think I can find out what you want or what you said? Because that's what you always tell us. Is there a flat car seat? So you never did tell me, Nate, where are you supposed to be? Yeah, exactly. Actually, actually, probably not. It's first hour. Jimmy, sorry, go. Where are you supposed to be? Not where you go. You're supposed to be a match. Oh, that was not good. Mr. Cushman? I heard he was the, like one of the best laid like, back people. Yeah, Mr. Cushman's morning. What's, what What's his name? Chiyoshi. Kushinaga, the full name, but we call him Chiyoshi. I'll go to that. It's super late time. Okay. He's nice to have Mr. Wickens. What's the correct order for the classification system, Gerardo? Okay, uh, like put stuff away. We're reviewing or taking them. Um, like the king. That, that yep. Cup. Uh, dear King Philip, came over for the great spaghetti. Oh, we're reviewing all of it from the beginning. It's great, Mr. Wiggins. Okay. What? It's What's great. It? Uh, uh, domain, kingdom, uh, phylum, right? Class. Class um, order. Um, I can't remember, Adam. Um, anybody? Asked you, remember? F uh, family genus family. family yeah. Okay. How many domains are there? <laughs> Three domains. Okay. Miguel, what was the name of the guy that came up with the classification system? Yep, Carl Linnaeus. Okay, good. Um, Anna and Vanessa, name the name uh, name the kingdoms. Where are they? That's why I review, because I know you guys know. You just need a, need a refresher on it. I know you know them, so I know Anna knows them because she got your notes. I couldn't hear you. You got to talk loud. I was in the artillery. I can't hear. Okay, Fungi, what's that? What else? Animalia. Plan A. Um. Protista. Protista. Yeah. On it. 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 On Okay. We had five kingdoms. Yeah, we had five kingdoms. I know. Yeah. One, two, three, four. The fifth one is, it's not a common one. Oh, wait a minute. 
Yep, we did talk about that. Okay, y'all trying to confuse us? No. Hey, I'm right to be wrong sometimes. How many phyla are in the animal kingdom? In the kingdom of Fine. What about? I'm going to give you these. Uh, these will come in order. So you're going to get. I'm going with. Oh, wait a minute. You so, first of all, nine. yeah. how many kingdoms do we use? So we use five. And then how many phyla are in the um, kingdom Animalia? So, and I'm going to give them to you in in order. So, three, five, seven. 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 Oh. Uh, okay. There's There's seven, Gerard. Oh, no class. Oh, no, that's we're not there yet. Okay. Okay. So um in the Okay, so now we're going to talk about fungi. Okay, what is the zygomycota that we are most familiar with? Good, Gerardo. Red mold. Okay. Um, Nasco Mycata. Um, starting it back with Gail, give me one of the beneficial roles of ascomycota. Yep. Okay, you could have also said morels or truffles. Okay. Um, okay. Anna, what are two harmful roles? Of ascomycota. You just well leave them out because this is what we're doing. Uh, it sounds like the Jesus sample. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Gerardo? Um, they invade um, freaking corn and crops, I mean. Okay. Big crops and poisonous, right? Okay, they infest crops, um, and they can cause like skin infections. Oh yeah. But... Okay. So, um, it, just so, just so you guys know, we're gonna we're gonna continue to go over these so that when we do this on Tuesday, you can you can knock this out of the park, right? Okay, so just take a few minutes in mentoring classes or even in, at the start of this to review your notes because. I know you 
you guys can all do it. So, um, how do we find out what a grade is in your class or in our classes? Um, you can get it in Power School. Oh yeah, um, there are my I forgot to ask. How do you how do you like enter Power School? Yeah. My mama has a lab and she's like, I'm wondering like how the password and stuff. You don't have your power school login? No. It's I'm the same as it was last year. I remember. I, I my mom always was always logged into it and so I remember. And then she got logged out and yeah. now she can't log back in. Basically. Okay. So you'll probably have to go talk to Miss Jimmy. So if you were to go to power school for any of the science classes, if you have multiple classes with me, you will not see a grade in there. Why? Because I've not put anything in because um, oh, we're, we're going to be project based and so what you're learning is going to be demonstrated through your projects and then after we get the projects done and graded I will give you credit for taking I'll give you credit I'll give you credit for taking the pretest and the, the pre-assessment and the post-assessment okay so I haven't put anything in yet. Um, so, okay, Basidio Micata. What, what what three names are they also known as? Um, club shelf fungi. Okay, shelf and club, and uh, forget it, uh, sac. No, no, it's um. Sac fungi. No, it's uh, what's called um. It's like gills. Or something. Gill, yep. Okay, so these are most common. These are actually going to be the the gill and the club fungi are both going to be ones that you are going to um, most likely. Those are those are the ones you're going to see at the grocery store. And, and for pretty obvious reasons. So the little white marshmallow looking mushrooms, they have a stem on them. They look like a little club. You get some of the bigger ones, flip it over. There's gills all over it. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, so now we're going to shift gears down to the um, phylum Angiospermophata. Okay, so um Vanessa Anna you guys between the two of you name three plants three plants that are in angiospermophata grass is one Good. Okay, girls, and and everybody else. The clue is on this one. Name three plants. So there's very few plants that you can name that won't fall under this. So name a plant. That won't fall under it. There's very few that won't. Just name me a plant. Any plant. Any plant that you know. Thanks. What's that? Thank you. N name me any plant, Vanessa. Just any plant. Mm -hmm. Flowers. You don't even have to give me a name of a flower because all flowers are in angiospermophata. Okay, one more plant. Um, 
bushes, trees, vegetables. Okay, so on, on that question, it's, and I kind of word it so that it says, name three plants. You don't have to be specific. Um, just name three plants. You know, if you don't put flowers and you want to put roses, that works. The only plants that don't fall under that are going to be the ones that are in Okay, so the only plants that aren't going to fall under angiosperm product are going, well, not, don't look plants, but in the phylum, uh, so that's the main one that has most of the plants, but uh, what plants are in the phylum conifer ophata? Sierra? What plants are in conifer ophiata? Conifers, which are what kind of trees? Uh, evergreens. Evergreens, good, Gerardo. Okay, so conifers, the way to think of that one, cones. Okay, conifers have cones and are evergreen. And then the majority of other plants fill up angiospermophyta. Okay, what are two diff we'll say, so what are two differences between the conifers and trees that are in angiospermophyta? Spiky leaves, which are called, what do we call those spiky leaves? Spiky leaves are needles. Pine needles. Okay. Or needles, because not necessarily a pine. Okay. And what's the other? The other thing, you can find it in its name. What do you think, Miguel? You, you find you find the other difference in its name. Cones. cones. Yep, needles and cones. Okay. Are you getting all that, Yair? Too much to write, so I just can't shut it. Okay, but you, you're you're getting it all right. I mean, it's not, and and you're listening too. So yeah. Okay. If I turn that other bank of lights, because it looks like the lights are kind of causing a funny glare on the thing, will it be too dark? I don't know, too bad. Okay, let me let me try real quick. If I turn off all the lights, you guys gonna go to sleep? Probably. I will though. You know, it's important to you that you wet your pants or she can go to the bathroom. Uh, okay, so honestly, just you could just raise your hand and say, I need to go to the bathroom and get up and go, because I'm not gonna say no, you have to sit there and wet your pants. I know, like at, at my at some of my old schools, the teachers gave us um, uh, these little slips that we had to have signed to go to the bathroom, and we could only go a certain amount of times per uh, semester. And I just every time my teacher gave me one of those, I'd throw it away in front of them, and then they would try to get me in trouble, and I'd be like, "You can't. I can use the bathroom if I have to go to the bathroom because if they don't let you go to the bathroom, it takes uh, uh, up to under an hour." to get a bladder infection that can be deadly. Well, 
and at the same time, honestly, like let them what what them. what if what if I said you can't go and you sat here and wet your pants in class? Yeah, seriously. What good is that gonna do? So it, there's there's no sense in it. And you guys are adults. Get up and go to the bathroom and come back. It's it's that easy. So just say that you need to go to the bathroom. So okay. So you got is that better on the glare, Yair? Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Um, I can't make it too dark or we'll never be able to see the screen. And you heard what I said about the test being on Tuesday? Did you hear that? What? Test on Tuesday? Yeah. Over all this stuff that we're going to go over. Okay, um, where are we at? Okay. Okay. What plants are in the phylum Philocenophata? You can kind of remember it in its name. Philocenophata. Plants in this phylum. Oh. They also start with an F. I'm going to say two lines. Ferns. Ferns. Good. Good, good, good. That one is one of the most commonly missed questions. So F for ferns, okay, when we're talking when we're talking plants. Okay. Another one of the most often missed um, plants come from the phyla come from the phylum. Bryophyta. What's bryophytas? What plants are they? Um, bristles. Like something about the bristles. Cactus. What was that, Miguel? Mosses. Mosses, good. Okay. So I don't really have a very good way to re uh, remember that, other than that's the one that you have to memorize because. If you if you think about angiospermophyta, A for all, so that's kind of all plants generally speaking. Okay, coniferophyta, conifers, cones, cones and needles, evergreen trees. So that's a way to remember that one. F philocenophyta, F for ferns. So the only one that you really have to remember uh, out of those phylum are bryophytas equal mosses. So there's clues in all of the other names except for bryophyta. Okay. Does that help? Okay, so before we go into the kingdom animaliae, and start going through those um, phyla. What are your questions about um, classification and on up through plants? Questions? So, does it help to just go over it and over and over it like this for you to, to remember it? Okay, so. That's I'm kind of I'm kind of hard headed, so some it has to be beat into me. So I'm not saying you guys are hard headed, and I'm trying to beat it into you. Oh, but, I have a hard head. But I think if we just review, um, because I know as we sit down and start discussing these, as it starts going, you're like, oh wait a minute, it's that one. So um, okay, okay, so let's move on to the kingdom and Amelia. And we're going to talk about the phylum Hortophyllae. 
periphera, which is what animals are in periphera. Here's your clue. Horse. Uh, um, it, it's hard to think of them as animals, but they are. Sponges. Sponges. Oh, good, Ash. Okay. Sponges have spores. It's hard to think of sponges as animals because generally the sponges we think of are the synthetic sponges that people do dishes with, right? So, but they are, they are animals. Okay. The next one, name an animal in the phylum. Cnidaria. C is silent. Nidaria? I don't really remember Nidaria, sorry. Anybody? Is that okay if I look it up? Sarah's looking hard for it. Nidaria? The animal I mean, in Nidaria? I have the word written down. Nidaria? Yeah. Okay, but I don't know what it, I don't have what it is. Oh. Okay. Oh, jellyfish. Okay, I would not. I would. I would not be able to come back. So. You could remember that. Some of the other stuff that you remember is harder to remember than that. I know you can do it. Okay. So, last one on this side. In the phylum. Flatthelmites. What animals are in flat thelmites? Um, tapeworms. Tapeworms, good. Tapeworms, flatworms. Uh, flatworms. And um, the intestine worms. Oh, no, that's tapeworms. Okay, so. Um, Generally, these are the ones that people get, and I think that the other one that um, is on the list, um, but flukes. the other one that's on the list that we don't really think of, it's easy to remember flat and tape as flat mighties, but flukes are the third animal in flat mighties. Okay. Let's go up here to nematodes. Frogs. No. Frogs. Frogs are amphibians. It's also a fish. It's also it's also a microscopic oh, round creature. Yeah, round worms. Okay, good. Now, lots of choices here. Clams. Clams. What else are ash? Mussels. Mussels. Oysters. A lot of other stuff. And Wait, is a slug one? Is this what's the difference between a slug and a snail? Does a slug just not have a shell? A, a snail has a shell. Um, I'm not sure where the slug fits in. I have to look that up. Yeah, I know slugs don't have shells. I saw this video where this uh, this dude he went to the ocean when it was like low tide and at this cliff place. So there was like a bunch of little pockets filled with water, and he found a slug that was like this big. And it's the slugs that they make purple die out. Yeah, that's nasty. Yeah. Okay, so lots of choices for the phylum mollusca, mollusks, okay? Okay, also um, not as many 
choices. And Lydia, which are what? Animals? They're in the animal kingdom, uh huh. Um, amphibians, so. No. No, no amphibians, yeah. Uh, and Lydia. This is right to the side of the head. Earthworms. What else? Um, snails. Oh, snails are mollusks. Um, you're kind of close though. Slugs. No, no slugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They might fall into that. I don't know. Leeches. Uh, slugs might. Slugs may fall under Analedia. I don't know. Like I said, I'll have to look that up because I actually don't know. So I'll look that up and get back to you tomorrow. Or tomorrow being Monday. Yeah. Since today's Friday. Okay, now, Arthropoda, Spider. uh, spiders, insects. Okay, so if you name four animals from it, um, I, it says name four animals, but so like four animal groups that we talked about, spiders, insects, centipedes, and this one isn't often thought of it as, crustaceans. Krabby Patties. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs, it's, it's right? Weird so in SpongeBob, the um, wherever SpongeBob works, it's uh, the Krabby Patty. It's a crab trap. It's what the building is. Yeah. So so if you think about if you think about that, how many of those animal kingdoms are are pretty common in that? Periphera, because they're SpongeBob. Nidaria. Because he always goes jellyfish hunting, uh, jellyfish hunting with the butterfly net, right? Yeah. Crustaceans, Mr. Krabs. And wouldn't Nidara also be for the scarf for Patrick? Or mm -hmm. what, what's the scarf? Well, that's the next. That's actually the next one that we're going to talk about. So, Echino dermatata. That sounds Russian. Echino dermatata. So, what was it you were just at saying? Star Ash? Starfish. Yeah. Okay. They're not technically a fish, so sea stars. Okay. If you say starfish, what did I tell you about when I'm grading it? If I know what you're talking about, what happens? You get it right. You get you get credit for it. So spelling, if you say starfish, even though it's not a fish, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about sea stars. Okay. What else? Um, this is one that there's a lot of debate on, and I've got to see if I can find one at home because I think I have one. Echino dermatata, what was it? Sand dollars. Sand dollars. Oh, yeah. I'll see if I have I'll see if I have some at home. I think I do somewhere. It's just a matter of finding them. And um, I think you can still see the hairs on some of them. I hope I don't think that they're uh, the hairs have been polished off of them yet or rubbed off of them yet. So could you eat sand dollars? Seagulls eat something that's on the inside of them. So the outside is to, is really just a hard shell. 
So I don't know what nutritional value you could get out of it other than the calcium. So that's what I was talking about though, with the stuff on the inside. I, I don't even know. I've never caught one enough to open it up to see what all is on the inside. Like yeah, what are the seagulls after? Some things I've always just like wondered what's on what the inside looks like. So I think I'm hoping, well maybe not next summer. I'm hoping that one of these summers in the near future a little bit late for you guys that I'll be able to go to the Oregon coast and I'm going to get, I'm going to find me a sand dollar and I'm going to video me opening it up, pointing out the hairs, pointing out some of the structures of it. And that's what we can use it in class. But uh, I'm just, I'm just getting started on that kind of fun stuff. Okay. So we've talked about a lot of different animal species. So the question is, what percentage Okay, what percentage of animal species are invertebrates. Isn't it like 98 or something like that? Or You're close. 96. You're close. 95. You're close. I think on that one though, you'll get credit because yeah. there's, but you're close, so you were on the right track. So you just got to remember. I just knew it was in You're the higher in, in the 90s. So yep, that was good. That's a good way to remember that. So, has everybody got this? Okay, so before I move on, what are your questions about the last of the last two of the last two phylum of the plants and the phylum of animals? What are your questions? Surely you have questions. No, we don't call me Shirley. That's not my name. You guys are probably too young for that joke, huh? Probably. It's from a movie called Airplane. The guy says, Surely you're kidding. He says, no, I'm not kidding, but don't call me Shirley. My name is. Um, Are we going on a walk today? Uh, if we can get through uh, this, re if we can get at least through the um, classification portion of the review, we can go on a walk. I know white shoes, but you got to go pick your feet up. Yep, everybody has to go. Because it's not Miss Gen Miss Genevieve has too much stuff to do to have you guys in there. You can pick up your feet. Don't get dirty. Don't walk through the dirt. No. Stay on the sidewalk. Get dirty. Talk like Frankenstein. That doesn't crease them. I'm just trying to help you out. Okay. How much help? All right. Did you get this too, Yair? Did you get this screenshotted? Okay. Okay, Gerardo. Yes. 
No, I'm not. What are you doing? What are you working on? Again. Oh, like project? No. What is this that you're doing? Put it up. All right, but what you're not questions? you're not coding in here. I was question. Okay, so the question is, name five animal groups in the phylum. So, in the phylum Chordata, five animal groups. Feline, Mammalia. Okay, bony and fish, bony fish, and clove. Uh, Forty. Mammals, let's see, so okay, so, so we said so mammals, uh, apes, fish, bony fish. Okay, so um, um, the so the amphibia. Okay, time time out. So um, so these are just animal groups in the phylum um, Chordata. So they're not actually the um, classes. So you're saying bony. So we're, but we're so we're lumping both bony and cartilaginous fish. As part of the group because it's all fish. So you yeah. said mammals, birds. bony fish, birds, um, amphibia, and reptiles. Okay, so this is Mammalia. Um, fish are fish, babies are birds, So that's the five groups. Okay, so from the The phylum chordata named the six classes in the phylum chordata, and so that's what, where you were getting at, uh, you two. So, what? So, what are they? Mammalia, bony fish, uh, ho -ho. country sheepies, aves, amphibia, and reptilia. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to put the congri. Oh, uh, chondri these yeah. So basically, it's bony fish and cartilaginous fish. Aves, amphibia, and then reptilia. Is the last one. Okay, so. Name me something in Mammalia? Mammalia. No, a what? A horse. Okay. Name me something in bony fish, uh, Sierra. Name me a bony fish. A bony fish? Okay, just start by naming me a fish. I don't freaking know. You don't know what you you know what a fish is. I mean there's yeah. so it's just any fish. 
It's kind of like kind of like the plant, so any fish will work. What's your last word? You said that's cnidaria, and it's not a fish. Wait, what are we on? Well, you're just naming something in the bony fish category. What kind of fish do you eat? Salmon. Okay, salmon. <laughs> salmon is a bony fish. Name a cartilaginous fish. Um, uh, shark. Okay. Name a cartilaginous fish that we have around here. Sturgeon. Sturgeon. Yep. I feel like they just use cartilage when they get bigger because bones are too heavy. Probably part of it. Yeah. Except for that kind of that theory doesn't kind of work with like whales. No. But I know what you're saying. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Okay. Na uh, Vanessa, name me something out of Aves. What's a an AV? We have quite a few of them around the room. Name one of them. What? A duck. Yes. Okay. Anna, name an amphibian. Amphibians live part of their life in the water, part of it out of the water. But Kermit, frog. a frog. Kermit the frog here. Okay. Name a reptile, Miguel. A snake. Snake. Okay. So, Anna, the other one that you said, a lizard, also is a reptile. Okay, good. Um, okay, so we've got Okay. What are the four orders from the class Mammalia? Uh, Fly, something like that. Right? Is okay, that... the class. You're getting down into the orders. Oh, um. Uh, Cloven hoof animals, yep. Okay, took me a second. What else? What are you? What human. class are you? I'm a human. But what class are you? Any help? What class are we as humans? Oh, solo? No, that is, you're getting down into the order. Oh. Uh, mammalia? No. That's the class. Oh, um, primate. Primate, good. <laughs> primate, what else is under, what other order is here? Um, carnivora and rodentia. And artiodactia. Yeah, it looks like, but I'm guessing that's cloven hoof. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the only one I don't have down. And because I suck at spelling and wouldn't ask you to spell that word, cloven hooves work good. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now we've gotten to the order of, we've gotten through the order of Mammalia. Now let's go to the family in the 
family carnivora. Uh, lion? Okay, but what, what's its name, actually, though, though? What's its oh, order name? Uh, uh, you were right, a lion is one. It's a uh, panthera? Like that. No, that's the fat. You're jumping down one, that's family. But you're close. <laughs> Uh, Feel it, eh? Oh, Feel it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now that you've gotten that one, so what's the next family? Um, the next family is um, Herbivora, something like that. Mm, no. Oh, Panthera. No, that's oh, no, that's, that's the like, family. That's like the next one, right? Yeah. Um, let me see. Uh, the, um, Who can help him out of the, on the four families of in the order Carnivora? Um, Canidae, Ursidae, Mustelidae. Canidae, yeah. Okay, and Ursidae. Okay, so. Same same exercise. Miguel, name me an animal in, that is in the family Felidae. A cat. A cat. That works perfect. Okay. You don't even have to. I, I'm just asking. I'm not asking specifics. Just generally speaking. Uh, Anna. Canada. Huh? Dog. Good. Vanessa. Mustela Day. A weasel. Okay, so Mustela Day. You think a must? A that sticky stuff, musk, weasels, minks, <coughs> they stink, okay. Ursidae, Sierra. Ursidae, just an animal in Ursidae. What are we doing? Ursidae. I just need an animal in Ursidae. A black bear, brown bear, polar bear? Any kind of bear, yep. Is it only bears in Ursidae, or is it, or didn't you say it was like wolverines and stuff too? No, I think that wolverines fall under Mustelidae. Oh. Is there anything else under Ursidae besides bears? No. Nope, that's why. Ursies. What about those little red panda things? That kind of look like. They yeah, kind of look like a dog. I don't know about those. The regular I, I, pandas. I heard they're. I heard they're actually like more of a primate than like a carnivore because they're like not actually bears. They just look like little tiny red pandas. Yeah, and so I. Yeah, I don't. If know. you've seen one run before, it looks like a person running on all fours. On the, like when they run around, they like kind of run around. I was watching a video of one yesterday. Okay. Now, the genus for the family Felidae. Gerardo? Uh, the genus? Uh, Panthera. Panthera. Uh, uh, I can do this. Uh, You've said all three at one point or another. Puma. 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 Uh, Felis. Yeah. I almost did it. You had them. They were on the tip of your tongue. I know it, but you knew it. Okay. Uh, at least I'm trying to remember. You're, you're all right. Okay. So, what are your questions about that much?
Okay. Okay, Gerardo, put the coating up. Or it's mine. Okay, on this first section on classification, what's your grade? Three. Because I knew some stuff and not all of it, so three. Okay. I'm going to, I actually, today, now, last week when we were doing it, three. So, but we've crammed a lot of other information in there. So I think that you're probably sitting somewhere yeah, between two and probably, a half and three. Yeah. Like I can't remember that much stuff we'll today because we didn't review it like that much. So, so and that's, that's I know we're cram we're cramming a lot of a lot of stuff in. Yeah, I hard. get it. But what am I looking for when just my best? I'm looking for your best. Okay, and I know I know you got this. Okay, so but that's kind of where I fit you in. Ash, what about you? Probably about three. Three, okay. Sierra? Still like a two and a half. Okay, so you're at a two and a half. I can respect that. Vanessa, what's your grade on a scale of one to four? Where are you at? Probably like a two. A two, okay. Anna, what about you? A one? I'm not buying it. So if so I, I mean I res I respect that that's where you think that you're at, okay? But I also feel that you know a lot more than you're giving yourself credit for. So I'm thinking that you're in this two range pretty good. Yeah. I think you remember because there was like, I asked, I asked her a question and you said, I know the answer. Okay. So I, I actually fit you closer into this two category. I respect your feeling that you feel like you're the one, but I feel that you're at a two. Okay. What about you, Miguel? Uh, maybe, maybe a two. Okay. You're another one. I respect that. I think that you're not a three. I think like maybe. But you're in the middle between two and three. Okay. That's that's what I think. Okay. So, great job. So where is it that where is it that you need to, to fit? For this class, where do, where do you need to absolutely fit for this class to uh, get your grade and move on in this class? Three. 2.5. Or, or higher. Okay. Do I think that everybody's at 2.5 or higher? I think we're pretty doggone close, folks. Okay. Pretty darn close. Ten away. Okay. When do we get out of here? Uh, Twenty-five. Twenty-five. That means on Monday we're going to have to hurry to cover all of this, all of DNA and all of genetics. Okay. And then we'll hit. I'll write a few hints and reminders. We still on have the order from Tuesday, huh? Still have I know, but we're only oh, part way through. We're only part way through the quarter, right? Yeah. So after we do this review and right. take your desk, then you're going to start your projects. Okay. How many Any projects for this class? Uh huh. Oh, oh, I think I'm in like quarter projects. No. Those you don't start working on until last couple weeks of the quarter. Are there any questions? Okay.